In this podcast, I'd like to cover a few tips and tricks to help work with your kinematic conditions. This robot example has all its kinematic constraints set up and the model moves correctly. We want to use the grippers on the end to pick up a tiny vial and move it to another location. So let's start by restoring the neutral position and create a view. Next I'm going to select a little vial in the grippers because those are the parts I really want to see. Then I'll just invert the selection and use a custom rendering technique. I'll change the priority to minus two and the style to silhouette. I'll also change the background color, remove the shadowing and the mirroring so it doesn't get in the way. So I'll always be able to see these objects even through other objects. Then I'll create another view. Now I'll use my compass to go to a top view and if I click on the objects, now you can see I've got a lot of control on exactly how the robot is going to move. You don't always have to try and control the movement by grabbing the child end. Sometimes it's easier to grab individual parts, then rotate them, and then you can change a view and, and rotate exactly where you want. In this case, I'm positioning the grippers exactly over the vial. Now I'll pick a line on facet and create another view. Since I have a linear constraint on this gripper, I can just slide it into place. Now we'll do the other side. And I'll create a view and we'll call it closed. I'm going to change the name on this view and call it open. This way I can reuse the animation at any point in the timeline. Next I want to grab the vial and make a copy. Now I'll rename the vial Kino vial. And cut the object and paste it into this assembly. That way it'll always stay with the grippers no matter where it goes. This is kind of a little cheat since we cannot turn kinematics on and off during an animation. I'll just change the opacity of these two objects when they get picked up. Now let's jump over to animation mode. I'm going to click on a view. I'm going to click on views and I'll move the timeline to three seconds. Now I can drag the open view down to the timeline and we can see a little animation. Let me just restore the neutral position at time zero. Again, control R. Now I don't want the grippers to go through the object, so I'm gonna copy this key back a little bit and just nudge the grippers up. Now it goes up and over the vial. Next I can grab the close view and drag it to let's say four seconds. Now we see the grippers close on the vial. So this is where we switch opacities. At four seconds I select the vial, this is the non-kino vial, and set a key for its opacity. Then I'm going to move the timeline one frame and change the opacity to zero. Next I can grab the Kino vial and bring its opacity up. You can see it was already at 0% at 4 seconds because it was hidden in that view. Now one will disappear and the other will reappear at the same time. Now I can just move the timeline and then move the model. and you see the vial is attached to the gripper. We can do the same thing except opposite when we release the vial at its destination using another copy of the vial after we get it in position. I'll just make a few more tweaks here to position this, rotate this. We'll get it into position.
I better remove a few of these camera keys. And also I'll add a digger here so that you can see the vial. And voila! It looks like the robot is picking up the vial and moving it to another location. Hopefully these tips help working with your kinematic conditions and making it a little easier to move around.